Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm a grade five student at Denova School. And my name is Dominic, and I'm in grade nine. Thanks to the party leaders for taking time to answer questions from us, from students like us. Our questions for the leaders are, what are you going to do to lower inflation and improve affordability for Albertans? I hear from so many Albertans that the cost of living is the number one issue for them in this election. In the short term, we can address affordability with generous subsidies to help cover the cost of essentials like power, fuel, rent, and food. The current government has left a number of citizens out of these programs and simply hasn't given enough support to many Albertans. In the long run, we can address living costs by investing in affordable housing projects and making sure that every Albertan has an affordable place to live. We would also seek to lower taxes for people rather than corporations. But part of being an honest politician means admitting when there's something you can't do. Inflation is caused by global economic factors we don't have a lot of control over. While we can't stop it, we can make life more affordable for Albertans so they aren't facing it alone. So I think it's really difficult for uh, Alberta on its own to lower inflation. Um, I think there's a lot of forces outside of the province of Alberta that contribute to that, and we're not always in control of those. But when it comes to affordability, I think there are some options for us, and I think we've taken some of those, and I applaud uh, those measures that have already been taken. But I think there were some uh, a few more things that we could be doing. One is that the affordability payments themselves should have been targeted better to people who really need it. I know post-secondary, like university students, did not have access to affordability payments. Uh, couples with no children, um, singles, they didn't have access to those affordability payments, renters. And I think that makes a big difference. I think, you know, some of those people were on the edge and really needed some help and, and removing some of that money around would have helped them a lot. I think we need to cut taxes uh, for Albertans that make less than $50,000 a year, and we can do that by raising the personal exemption. I think we, uh, we need to increase support for Albertans that are on uh, provincial supports, income supports already, so that they're, uh, you know, they're maintaining uh, at least the poverty level, above the poverty level in the places they live. And I think we need to have a long-term commitment to how we deal with affordable housing in, in the province. We need to work with the federal government. We need to work with municipalities to make that happen. Uh, that's a really important affordability issue. We need to lower the cost of post-secondary um, training over uh, a period of time. I think we need to lower it by 50%. Uh, I think we need to look at a residential property tax credit to help those that are, um, you know, having affordability issues. And uh, the other thing I think we do is we need to repatriate the carbon levy, bring that back, uh, take control of it, administer it, and then get those carbon uh, tax payments back to Albertans uh, who are struggling. And the last and not least, but the electricity and uh, gas rates, I think we need to uh, reform how we have those uh, options and how those billing options work so that those that can least afford it have some better options to deal with their utility costs. Albertans are falling further and further behind. They're facing the worst affordability crisis in almost 40 years and wages are not keeping up to inflation. In the short term, we'll help Albertans by controlling the costs for things like auto insurance and tuition. In the medium to long term, we'll create good, paying, long-term, sustainable jobs. We'll also bring back student employment programs so they can gain the skills they need while earning a paycheck. And I want to be very clear that there will be no increases to income taxes. Doing all of this and there's more to come. We will lower costs for families so they can keep a roof over their heads, put food on the kitchen table, and put a little money away for a much needed and well-deserved summer vacation. Denalda School, great question. How will we lower inflation and improve affordability? Well, first of all, when you go to college, it should be free. So your post-secondary needs to be free so that you can focus on your access to education, ensuring that not just rich people can access a higher education, but then you're not um, utilizing a food bank just to survive. You can focus on your studies and get into the workforce and improve your life and improve the well-being of your communities. So first of all, we need free tuition, and then we need a basic income to support people as they get through the, the week, the month. They have a safety net that ensures they're not put out on the street because then if we deal with uh, 
houseless issues, if we deal with the poverty issues, we know that we will save money as a society, and then there's more taxable income that comes in. Uh, that means that we can lower inflation by just streamlining these services. And you might think basic income, similar to CERB, would raise inflation, but basic income is a get to work incentive, not a stay out of work incentive. So you can get rid of EI and other government benefits, and you can streamline everything to a direct gift so that you can have a basic income, that you can um, have better access to transit. That's a big piece of the puzzle. Uh, we know how expensive it is to having vehicles and depending on cars in our society. So Green Party of Alberta would improve our transit system, make it more free, create a rail network, create a high-speed train from Calgary to Edmonton, and create more access to the job markets. Uh, we would ensure that there's jobs for everyone. There's no reason why we shouldn't have a guaranteed job program that gets people back to work. And we need to ensure that as a society, we're taken care of on a higher level. And that means uh, protecting people from profiteering companies. It means getting our fair share, our royalty rates from the oil and gas industry, making uh, large corporations also pay their fair share. Right now they pay the lowest in uh, all of Canada. Uh, large corporations should pay the same as BC or Saskatchewan. So these are all processes to make life more affordable for Albertans. How will you address inflation and affordability? Inflation is an expansion of money supply and the federal government has expanded the money supply to historical heights to cause this inflation. I encourage every student to read about how money is made, how it is introduced. Read Creature of Jackal Island. Affordability is living within your means. As life proceeds, you will learn you are not able to have all products or luxury goods as you wish. You have to live within your means. If you keep borrowing money and are in debt, you are leading a false life. Your life is being supported by borrowed money. Our government is doing this. We have a high debt which has to be paid by future generations as yourselves. Every dollar that is borrowed by the government has to be paid back. Hey, Denalda School. It's Danielle Smith here, and thanks so much for your question on affordability. Our government is proud of our record of keeping taxes low and providing Albertans with the opportunity to grow and thrive. Our government is focused on making sure Albertans always have a good paying job and also keep their hard earned money in their families' pockets. Some ways we've assisted with affordability is by introducing our fuel tax exemption and electricity rebates, saving Albertans more money at the pumps and also to power their homes. We've also introduced targeted affordability payments to help those who need it the most, including seniors and our most vulnerable and families with children. I'm also happy to announce our new commitment to lower personal income taxes.